here we are in the Clearwater River and today I'd like to show you the basics of drift fishing for steelhead. So in this case I got a very simple uh, drift rig set up. We got some tubing on a line with a weight in it. Remember you just want enough weight to be able to tick on the bottom. If it's too heavy and it starts snagging up you got too much weight and, and clip it off. And then you can have anywhere from uh, one to two feet of line below your little barrel swivel. So that's all there is. Most people like to tip their uh, bait or their hooks with some sort of bait. In this case, I put a little bit of shrimp on. People like eggs, some will put tuna in. It's all uh, up to your own preference. Put some time in and see what you like. So that's all there is to it. This is a great hole to fish right here. So I'm gonna start fishing. Now when drift fishing, there's a couple of um, things to, to think about. You always want to keep your line somewhat tight. That way you can feel those bit bites when they happen. A lot of times they're just real subtle. They'll just stop. Just like that. In that case it was a rock. And if it starts snagging up too much, it tells me I've got too much weight on and I may want to switch to or cut some weight on. Another little thing to think about if you're fishing an area that's real snaggy, one of the things you can do is just slowly reel. That will keep the uh, the weight just skipping over the bottom. In this case I have too much weight on. So in this particular case I noticed when I cast it I kept snagging up um, and ideally when you're fishing, drift fishing you just want the bait weight to just kind of tick along the bottom. You don't want it hanging up and staying there. So mine was hanging up too much so all I have to do is go out there and cut a little bit of this weight off. That should do the trick and we'll try her again. Oh, just perfect now. It's barely ticking. When it's just barely touching, you also can feel the bites a little bit better. One thing to think about, sometimes you fish in areas that are really snaggy. One little trick you can do is as it's bouncing down, you can slowly reel. That will keep your weight kind of skipping higher and it doesn't drop down and snag up, snag up as much. So try that if you're snagging up too much and breaking off all the time. One thing that will help your success when, when drift fishing is after you cast, you have a big arc in your line, be sure to reel that arc out. You want to keep that line tight so you can feel, feel what's on the other side. Sometimes you can just slowly reel to help keep it tight. It often helps, helps you detect hits. Hits can sometimes just be your line stopping. Now one thing when casting and when bait drifting that you want to consider is to cast a little bit upstream of where uh, you think the fish are or where you want your bait to be on the bottom because it does take a little bit of time for your bait to get down. So if you cast straight out it might not hit the bottom until you're down towards the end of the drift. So just angle it up a little bit. And there it started hitting bottom, right where I think the fish are. 